Hey folks, today's video is going to be all about organizing miniatures and the stuff around that, as well as giving you a little mini tour of our office. So I had talked about in a previous video wanting to kind of get the miniatures in our house organized because they were just a little bit all over the place. Um, a lot of them were up here in our office, especially the unpainted ones, but we had like miniatures in a bunch of different places around the house and so we managed to kind of corral them all. We do have a few miniatures that are kind of display pieces that are like in our dining room and living room but for the most part they're kind of in two different locations. So you've probably noticed this in the back of a bunch of our videos. Um, this is a type set board I think um, that I got from my parents. I don't remember where exactly they got it. Probably at a uh, like antique store or rummage sale, something like that. You can find a lot of these like little um, small things uh, like for shot glasses or thimbles, stuff like that. Those are really great size and I like having that to display a bunch of the painted minis. I didn't want to just put them all completely um, away in a box because I spent a lot of time painting them so I want to show them off. This one this is actually a shot glass shelf uh, that I just bought somewhere online. It does have a door and it used to have like some plexiglass on there um, but as you can see like this guy there we go this guy sticks out quite a bit um, so I took the door off of it. You could leave the door on. That will definitely help with keeping dust off of your minis. Um, but this is a really good size for some of those larger miniatures uh, that might not necessarily fit in like these little tiny ones that I have goblins in. So yeah, we've got that. So between these two, that displays quite a lot of our miniatures. Uh, we do have some minis. There's a holder in here if it will focus, <laughs> under our paint shaker um, that has a few more minis in there. So kind of between this drawer here and here are most of our painted miniatures. All right, and before I get too much into the rest of the room, let's go to a different room and I'll show you where the rest of our painted minis are. All right, so this shelf has the kind of rest of our painted miniatures that aren't on display. And these are almost um, all Warhammer minis except for this uh, bottom shelf is just kind of a bunch of random ones. So we've got like my Sylvanath army. I need to paint more so they can fill up those empty shelves uh, and a lot of Ryan's Zinch. Um, some of his rubric marines are down here if it'll focus. Yep. Uh, and then up at the top we have some of the taller minis that just aren't going to fit in the shelf. So this is actually uh, like billiards racks. You're supposed to put um, billiard balls or something like that in there. We actually have it hung upside down because the uh, correct way, the upside of those shelves are slightly concave so that, you know, the balls aren't going to roll off the shelf. Uh, but we found just flipping it over worked great. All right, and now we'll go back into the office. So the bookshelf that you see in the background of a lot of my videos, and hey, my reflection, hello, <laughs> or reflection shadow, that's what it's called. Um, so I did do, I kind of kept a lot of the mini organization that I kind of already had, but I added these labels. So I've got unpainted minis, more unpainted minis, do have a few boxes. I took the boxes from up there because they kind of were cluttering the space and managed to fit them into mostly these two boxes plus that box hanging out there and then all the way down here I do also have a box of this is all my unpainted Sylvaneth stuff and my hope is that um, some of the larger models that won't fit on that shelf that I just showed you uh, once they're painted up I can kind of turn this into storage for those um, since they are some big pieces, as well as I might have them go down uh, into our dining room and just kind of be some fun show-off stuff. We move down to the kind of more book portion of the bookshelf. So I've got my Pathfinder books that I will need 
for an upcoming thing, keep an eye on our social media. And then these are all of my bullet journals and various notebooks. I've got some rolled and told back there, uh, more notebooks, and then we've got like cantrip candle. This is actually the one that I turned into a mini storage vault. You can go find that video up here. I've got a signed double clicks album, all of our paints. I actually moved this up a shelf. Uh, this was at a height that was a little bit easier to reach from the chair, but I realized I usually didn't roll my chair back and grab paints. I actually usually stood up and they looked a little bit nicer up on this shelf than down below. So I moved the other paint rack down below. These are all from Broken Token. I'll try and put links in the descriptions. And oh, I've forgotten where this is from. I will pop it up on screen. Uh, this I made for our wedding for all of our um, cards and stuff like that. And then these boxes. So this box down here has just kind of some miscellaneous um, office-y type stuff note cards, things like that. And the box above it has, here, let's show you what's in here. And so this box inside, it's a little bit of a jumble, but it has kind of all the stuff we need for basing and um, glue, uh, green stuff, things like that. I've got my mini journal for writing down um, all the paint things. And then in these drawers, we've got like, Forks, um, some unpainted minis that I've kind of set aside for a project, um, and then a few other like partially painted minis in there. Down in here, we've got more like brushes. This is kind. Of, these are kind of the drawers that we keep all the tools in, so it's a little bit easier to differentiate between these drawers and these drawers. This box is full of miscellaneous craft stuff, craft paints various things, a uh, towel that we use for cleaning off brushes, wet palette. The bottom shelf has a bunch of my knitting books and then baskets for knitting. I knit. Yeah, so that is kind of that side of the room that you see most often in videos. Whole bunch of artwork up here. Uh, if you're interested, I might at some point in the future do like a art guide through the office, maybe our house, because we've got a lot of nerdy prints around. All right, so the other side of the room, this is a very small room, ta-da, is my desk. Uh, so I've shown, this has changed a little bit since I did my um, how I stream my game setup, oh, uh, but just a little bit. Um, I did get these drawer units. You can see I've kind of organized them a little bit. And because of that, I needed to shift things kind of more center. And I think it ended up working out fairly well. I still have the ring light, got the camera. I put this on its own arm. Uh, so if I hit the desk really hard, it doesn't shake. Laptop attempt at cable management. I, I, I envy so many amazing cable management videos. Uh, that is kind of the best that I can do right now. I've got um, all of this stuff up here, uh, kind of a nice pegboard that I can keep things that I need to access as well as some fun art. I've got printer. I've got a box of some minis that I'm currently working on. My little plant that I've called the sun tree. Hello sun tree. Uh, this has just a bunch of paper and actually in this drawer is where I keep um, the craft scrapbooking paper that I use for backgrounds of miniatures. Corner of the office that's the least exciting. We've got a pet bed. River spends more time in this bed than Hilo does because she's the boss. Uh, file cabinets because office boring stuff, paperwork, uh, catch all kind of basket that I've got some stuff that like needs to get filed, some weights that I should probably use more often. Um, this is the closet. This is the door to the rest of the house. You can't see behind there. <laughs> so, um, 
And then in this closet, we just have kind of a bunch of extra filming equipment, lots of tripods, some more knitting stuff, sewing machine, and miscellaneous stuff up there that I've sorted into boxes. It's mostly yarn. I have too much yarn. So there is a nice fun guide um, to how I've organized my miniatures, kind of kept all of the hobby stuff a little bit um, less chaotic and a lot easier for me to find um, the miniature that I want when I want it, as well as to be able to find all of the paints and various tools when I'm painting. There are plenty of other ways that you can organize your miniatures. I know quite a lot of people, especially if they have a army that they take with them for wargaming, will have carrying cases using foam. Um, I've also seen getting some of those like smaller plastic drawer units. Those are really great to keep uh, like if you've got a whole bunch of kobolds and a whole bunch of lizard men, stuff like that, to keep those in there and adding some kind of label to make it a little bit easier to find them or having some system of, you know, all of the NPC type minis are at the top and then monsters are at the bottom. Whatever it is that you find the easiest and best way to store your hobby supplies. So do you have any specific ways that you like to store your hobby supplies? Uh, any, any cool shelving systems, storage systems? I'd love to know more about it down in the comments below. As well as that creates a great resource for other people to get ideas and figure out, okay, I need to find some way to keep all my stuff together and uh, keep it organized so I can find the things that I need and make it work for whatever space you have. I'm very thankful to have space in my home to have some dedicated kind of hobby office area uh, and it's definitely come in handy um, the last couple of months. Uh, so what does your hobby space look like? I'd love to know about it more in the comments below. A big thanks to our patrons, especially Joan. If you want to support our channel, you can head over to our Patreon page and check out the perks of being a patron. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to follow us on our social media so you can find out all the cool things that we have upcoming and keep make sure that you know when we post videos. And if you're subscribed, they'll automatically go into your, in, or into your like subscription box. <laughs> all right, thanks so much, and we'll see you next time on Roll for Initiative. Bye. Oh, hey, might help if I turn on the light.